hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll make a very easy uh, butterfly dress you can do this in 10 minutes 15 minutes so this is an easy dress you can make for yourself in less than 15 minutes so let's make it together i folded my material into four of course you'll be cutting the front and the back piece together okay so um i'm using a crepe fabric and this is two yards of crepe fabric if you're small i'm small so two yards is enough for me but if you're big like size um eight and above you may have to use three yards of fabric for this so i'm using the full inches of 60 60 crepe usually comes by 60 inches that is by length so i'm using 60 inches length and now the width folded into four that is from the center back um i have 15 inches but if i don't measure this is how i get it i measure my shoulder first which is seven inches and from my shoulder i mark out um the length of the sleeve all right so seven inches is my shoulder and then i mark out the length that is how i get how long i want it to be if i don't measure from my from my center back all right so in total here i have about 15 16 inches this is because i don't want it super long or full so this is optional you can do as you wish now i'm going to mark my starting point then i'm going to come there and i'll mark my shoulder slope of one inch Then from there i'll mark my um sleeve opening so i'm going to use my chest line for this sleeve opening my chest line is um eight inches so i'm going to mark eight inches there so use your own measurements this one is for me And next is to mark the neckline. I'm going to mark a neckline of um three by three, so that after I turn with bias, it will eventually be three point five by three point five. So the width and the um depth is three inches, okay, respectively. And of course, it's the same thing for the back as well. I want it to have the depth of the front to be the same for the back because it's a boo boo. I don't want it to be you no know, high or anything. I just connect it to the shoulder loop like this. Then I'm going to now um in order to get how to shape this, you know it's a boo boo, sorry, butterfly is free. You're going to use your hip measurements, okay, to shape this. So you're going to use your hip measurement on your bust plus two inches same allowance all right so the quarter of your hip is going to is what you will use plus two inches same allowance that is what i'm using so you're going to use your hip to shape this straight down to the hem because it's butterfly is going to be free in fact if you want it super free you can even add three inches to the quarter of your hip all right so this is depends on your preference or what you want but because my booboo is not so wide like the width is not so wide i'm going to be um getting the quarter of my hip and then i'll add two inches to it so this is where my joining is going to start from remember on my chest line down to my hem okay so um you can actually go ahead and mark this on the front because you know you're sewing on the front of this dress you're sewing the seam should be should be on the front part of the dress because it's a butterfly so you go ahead and mark this on the front part of your dress so that you know where your seam should start but first let me go ahead and cut my neckline my shoulder cut my neckline and then on my shoulder i added half inch on top for joining allowance as you can see i didn't cut directly on that line and then you know this side that is on fold i'm going to slash it open like this okay 
now it's open and we have four pieces that we folded like this the front and the back okay so i'm going to mark this thing on the front so that i'll know where i'll be starting my joining you can do this now or you can do it later which i'll still show you that is after you must have joined your shoulder you can just go ahead and fold it into four again and mark all right so i'm just tapping it so that if the chalk appears on the other side of the fabric in front as you can see i'm marking on the front because i'm sewing this on the front i also mark the same thing on the other side like this then i'll tap it so that I'll, the chalk will appear on the other side like this all right So that's where my joining will start from down to my hem now the thing i'm going to do next is to um join the shoulders together with half of an inch okay so this is where my joining will start from okay down to my hem so I'll go ahead and place this together front facing on um, front and then I'm going to join my shoulders by half of an inch and then I'm going to pipe the neckline with a bias I'm going to use a bias to pipe the neckline Here's the bias I'll be using. I don't have a very matching color, so I'll just make do with this one since it won't be showing. I'll pipe it to the back, okay? So I'll go ahead and do that. Now I've done that, I've piped the neckline, okay? And I've also sewed the shoulders. And then you can now go ahead this and sew the sides if the chokes are still showing, but even if they are not, you can even just go ahead and fold this into two like this make sure that everything is aligned properly and then you will also go ahead and take um your measurement from the shoulder to your chest line then you mark it and then when you mark it you now take the quarter of your hip plus two inches um seam ease allowance mark it then you know that this is where you're sewing from to the hem i'll go ahead and do the same marking on the other side of my dress like this and that is just it all right So I'll take to my sewing machine and sew the both sides on the front. Yes, exactly as it is. Well, you may you must have um hemmed the down part before sewing. Hem your down part before sewing the sides. And then if you want a slit by the side, you can also do a slit. It is very optional, like about 16 inches or how long you want it. You mark it. That means your seam is going to stop here. You're also going to do the same thing on the other side. This is very optional. And then you do the same thing for the other side. So to where your um, slit is going to stop. Please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly click the subscribe button. It's totally free. And give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Then you can also overlock the size or you can just fold it and that's all for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.